Hey everybody, my name is Matt Kuman and I'm the Groups Pastor here at the Foundry. We are so excited to start Groups content. We're starting a new series called Come and See and we cannot wait to dive in with you on some Groups content. We know some of you have been meeting throughout the summer um, and we cannot wait to start seeing you this fall. A few quick announcements before we get into the content. Uh, on September 13. Uh, the Foundry at Live has the 9 and the 11 o'clock service, uh, the 11 o'clock for the first time on the 13th. So we would love to see you live in this new building. Let the, the series is literally come and see. So come and see what is happening live at the Foundry. Uh, but we know some of you may not feel comfortable yet coming to a live service. So we're going to continue that 11 o'clock service online um, so you can stream that but we would love for you to come and see what's going on here. Uh, another announcement is Foundry 101 is September 16th. And as groups, uh, we would love it if you know of anyone who has not come to a Foundry 101 to maybe give them a push in the right direction to come and see what Foundry actually is. It's a great time to ask questions. Um, if those of you who have been through 101, you know what it looks like. It's almost like a, a first date, if you will, right? They ask questions of us. Uh, we ask questions. Um, it's a great time to just see what this church is. So if there's people who you know that need a bit of a push, maybe off the fence into the right direction, uh, encourage them to come to Foundry 101. Again, that is September 16th, and there's more information on where to sign up for that at foundrychurch.net. Um, and the last announcement is... As we're gearing up for groups, we're super excited for what's going to be coming this fall, but we need some more group leaders. So if you're in a group and you felt a bit of maybe something inside of you saying, you know, maybe I'd like to lead my own group. Uh, we'd love it if you'd reach out to us. We'd love to have a conversation about what that could look like. Uh, you can reach out to me specifically at matt.kuman at foundrychurch.net. Um, or you can find my email at foundrychurch.net as well. Uh, we'd love to just engage with you that way. So without further ado, let's get right into the group's content. Um, I'm excited for group's content this year because there's some like icebreaker questions. Um, if you're just starting to meet now, you can run through some of those questions. Or if you're like, we'd like to just know some of these things anyway, regardless of how long you've been meeting, you can play around with some of those. But Let's jump right to the discussion then uh, once you get done with those things. So once you're done reading the scripture and going through some of the icebreakers, uh, turn this back on. Alrighty, before we start our discussion, um, I'll have some questions for you and then your group's leaders will have some follow-up questions to kind of encourage some discussion as we go along. So here's the first question. What stood out to you in the passage that you just read? How did Philip begin following Jesus? Next one is, how did Nathan, How would you describe Nathaniel according to this passage? What words come to mind when you think about who Nathaniel is? And we're going to get a little bit more personal. When did Jesus first get your attention? Right, where were you? What happened? What, would the, what was this story like? Explain that to each other. Do you find it difficult or easy to share your faith? Or how about this one? Have you ever been hesitant to invite someone to church or to a group or another church event? Has that ever been a struggle for you? Yeah. 
After reading through the scripture and discussing this, I have one more question for you. How will your actions show, now that you know these things, that Jesus knows what our loved ones need even better than we do? What are your actions going to look like from now on? All right, groups, that is it for our questions in the discussion. If you guys have time and want to dig a little bit deeper, your group's leaders have some questions. And we did some looking, and there's two words that really stand out that relate to this come and see idea. So if you have time, I'd really encourage you to look into those things. It's pretty exciting how these two words can really make this story come to life. So I'd encourage you to do that. Again, have a great week, and we are so excited to be seeing you in person shortly. Have a great week, guys.